A little while back I made a video on how to watch the whole anime in order and that video got so much good response that I decided to make one on the movies. There's a bunch of movies so here is a video with the best order to watch them. Hey how's it going my name is Raf and welcome to Dragon Ball Code and today we're going to be talking about the best order to watch all the Dragon Ball movies and since most of the movies are not canon this list is on how to watch the movies in order by themselves and if this is your first time here and you like Dragon Ball content consider subscribing because this channel is all about Dragon Ball. So if you already watched the anime and now you want to watch the movies this is the order you should watch them in. Just like with the anime, the first thing you need to do is decide whether you want to watch them in Japanese or in dubbed in your preferred language. The Japanese is the original so keep in mind that some things are lost when they're dubbed. I personally prefer to watch them in English. Once you do that you can start watching the Dragon Ball movies. Remember most of the movies are not canon so even though they take place during a specific time frame they didn't really happen in the main story. The first movie is Curse of the Blood Rubies or in Japanese The Legend of Shenlong. And this movie takes place during the Emperor Pilaf Saga. Next is Sleeping Princess in Devil's Castle. This movie takes place when Goku and Krillin start training with Master Roshi. The third one is Mystical Adventure or the Japanese title Mystical Great Adventure. This movie takes place when the Red Ribbon Army and Tao are still around. This one is followed by The Path to Power or in Japanese The Path to Ultimate Strength. This retells the story of the original Dragon Ball in a different way and it goes all the way to the end of the Red Ribbon Army. It doesn't make it to King Piccolo. Now you would enter the Dragon Ball Z portion of the movies. There are 15 movies. The first one is Dead Zone or the Japanese title Dragon Ball Z the movie. This movie takes place right after Dragon Ball and before Dragon Ball Z and it introduces the character Garlic Jr. Next is the world's strongest or the world's strongest guy in Japanese. This movie takes place after the Saiyans attack but before Goku goes to Namek. The Tree of Might or Super Showdown of the whole earth is next and this takes place during the same time Goku arrives on Namek. The movie doesn't take place on Namek though. Then is Lord Slug or in Japanese Super Saiyan Son Goku. This one takes place when they are on Namek but before Goku turns into a Super Saiyan. Next is Cooler's Revenge or The Incredible Mightiest versus Mightiest in Japanese. This one takes place after Future Trunks comes to the past but before the androids. Next is Super Android 13 or Extreme Battle 3 Great Super Saiyans in Japanese. This one takes place after 17 and 18 are activated. The next one is The Return of Cooler or Clash 10 Billion Power Warriors. This one takes place right before the Cell Games. The next one is Broly the legendary Super Saiyan or in Japanese Burn Up, Hot Fight, Fierce Fight, Super Violent Fight. That's a crazy name for a movie. Timeline wise this one takes place during the fight with Cell. Bojack Unbound or the Galaxy at Brink the super incredible guy. This one takes place after they defeat Cell. Then Broly Second Coming or in Japanese the dangerous duo Super Warriors Cannot Rest and this one takes place around the same time when Gohan meets Videl. Then is Bio Broly or in Japanese Super Warrior Defeat I am the one who will win and this one takes place during the fight with Majin Buu. Fusion Reborn or in Japanese the rebirth of Fusion Goku and Vegeta is next. This one also takes place during the fight with Buu. Then is Wrath of the Dragon or Dragon Fist Explosion if Goku won't do it who will. This one takes place after they defeat Buu. Then we have Battle of Gods or Kami to Kami and Resurrection F and these take place during Dragon Ball Super even though they still have Dragon Ball Z in the title. Then comes the last movie to be released until now Dragon Ball Super Broly and this one is canon and it takes place right after the Tournament of Power. And that's it for me I think the best experience is to watch the show first and then the movies so make sure you do it like that. Did you watch the show already? And if you enjoyed this and you would like to support my channel please check out my Patreon page in the description below and of course if you like Dragon Ball content make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon so you can get notifications whenever I post a new video. Thanks for watching and I will see you later.